breaking news for you. A magnitude 6.8 earthquake has occurred off the coast of Sandiku in northeastern Japan at 6.09 p.m. Japan time. That's about an hour ago. And the meteorological agency has issued a tsunami advisory for waves of up to 50 centimeters. The tsunami is likely to have arrived at around 6.40 p.m. Japan time at the earliest. The operator of the plant at the center of Japan's nuclear crisis has released video of compartments beneath the reactor cores. Tokyo Electric Power Company sent in workers to examine the suppression chambers for the first time since the accident last March. They found radiation levels there are too high for people to carry out inspections. The video shows workers entering the basements of the number two and number three reactor buildings. One of them tried opening the door to the suppression chamber at the number three, but he couldn't. He tried to kick it open, but the door didn't budge. TEPCO officials believe a hydrogen explosion last March mangled the door. The images are blurry, but uh, this video shows the number two reactor workers were able to open the door to the suppression chamber in that building and measure radiation. Workers detected levels of up to 160 millisieverts per hour. The reading means crews can only stay inside for 20 minutes. Then their exposure reaches the government's permissible limit. TEPCO officials say they'll consider sending in robots to conduct inspections in order to decommission the plant's disabled reactors. Engineers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have taken their first look inside one of the crippled reactors. They used an underwater camera to see what was left after a hydrogen explosion last March. The engineers sent the camera into the number four reactor. The images show what appears to be wreckage in the bottom of the reactor vessel and a large amount of floating material in the water. The camera showed similar floating material in the spent fuel pool in the reactor building. Engineers say visibility in the pool has dropped significantly since last month. The engineers want to start removing fuel rods from the pool by December next year. They say they can't remove the fuel rods unless the water is much clearer. They plan to find out where the floating material came from. Next, we have some stories related to nuclear power plants here in Japan. The operator of a defunct nuclear plant near Tokyo says over three tons of radioactive wastewater may have leaked from a tank inside one of its buildings over the last 18 months. Workers at the Tokai plant found that one and a half tons of water containing low levels of radioactive material had leaked from the tank. A closer inspection revealed that about 2.2 more tons may have leaked outside since 2010. The water is believed to have seeped out of pipes connected to the tank. Workers found no leaks to the building's exterior.